Howdy folks, this is a Saturday morning shave for me and today's soap is going to be Vanillet from Down Under. This has a uh, bergamot, smoky, mandarin type scent. I'll put the scent profile down below and uh, got the matching aftershave here which has witch hazel in it. And I do have Allen Block complete with the trusty Rubber Band, Humphrey's Witch Hazel, Lilac. The shaver of the day uh, comes in a nice nice travel case like this. So in other words, this is vintage. It's a gem razor. Head goes there, handle goes there. That up there was there when I uh, got this. And if I had to guess, it's probably to protect the uh, items inside to keep it from getting scratched up. The blade I have inside is a PAL carbon, blue carbon, and we'll go ahead and, oh, I guess I'll show you what the rest of that looks like. And this, this one here, typically when you see a gem, ever ready, star, you'd see something right back here. This particular one does not have that, but it does have, it does have it on the inside. There's the blade right there. That's what the blade looks like. If you're wondering what a blue carbon looks like, pal. And there, uh, let's see if we can get it to where you see where it says Jim in there. You may or may not be able to see that. But it says Jim, and then it's uh, made in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Pretty cool, I like it. Like I say, I us you can usually find these things fairly inexpensive priced hunt for them on eBay long enough you'll usually find one hitting that price range you're looking for and this one here has a little bit of weight for it even though it's uh, kind of short handled I am um, already got my uh, brush over here soaking in the water and it is a uh, have whipped up the lather already in other words here is a it's a veal on horsehair and uh, I've got my bowl here. That's a bocce bowl. It's got grooves in it. I didn't pour all the bloom water out before I put it on my face. I left a little bit in there so I get this lathered up here. Today is going to be a very interesting day for me and my family. We, uh, <laughs> in other words, not necessarily shaving related here. The... Uh, I live in the town of uh, Broken Arrow here in Oklahoma, and uh, in the Tulsa metro area, which in other words we're just right outside Tulsa, uh, there are some football teams that uh, usually are in the top five, and you got Union, Jinx, Broken Arrow, and Owasso, and in Tulsa at a different class would be Booker T. Washington. But anyway, in other words, these, uh, these teams are normally just right up there in the thick of things, running for first place in the playoffs and whatnot. Well, today is a football game that starts at 11 o'clock uh, here in Broken Arrow. And uh, ESPN is going to be there. And yes, we have tickets. Now, I have been by these games before, and I'm here to tell you, Parking is seriously limited. In this town, football, yeah, it's everybody comes to the football game, as many as they can pack into that stadium. And uh, parking, it seems like it's always an issue because it's, I mean, they're parking in the field across from the high school, and, uh, and, it, and it's very popular here. And with ESPN being here, it's definitely going to be popular. So we are going to... Uh, go to the game. Gates open at 9.30, so I'm trying to get this uh, in before we go to the game. Lather is just great. Vanillet, I haven't had one of their soaps, one of her soaps, Monica soaps, not lather like, it, like you would expect it would. Always got the slickness in Clyde. I guess you might say she's got it down. She's got to figure it figured out. And as it goes for scents, 
my god, she's got hordes of them. Chances are she's going to have what you want, and if not, she can definitely make it for you. Uh, go ahead and re-wet the face here. But it's going to be exciting times. My wife's very excited about going. Um, she's even got pom-poms. She's going to take to the game. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> Game's supposed to start at 11 o'clock. <laughs> Which, uh, she's really wanting to go, so this this is a little different because uh, when uh, usually when you go to something like this showing up around 9.30 and the event starts at 11, Usually she gives me this look like she is not interested in sitting around that long for a football game that's going to last about, what, two hours? But she's excited about going to this one. Lather's going everywhere. It'll be fun. They've had it on ESPN a few times. Uh, matter of fact, uh, one of the gentlemen during his broadcast um, he even had a broken arrow shirt in other words had an emblem over here on the side with broken arrow and if you haven't seen it what it is the it has the uh, letters for BA for broken arrow and then it's got a broken arrow right on top of the BA and uh, you know it's kind of neat to see the you know, our local town not exactly a, a big town by any means, you know, kind of hit the news like this because of football. In other words, other than a tornado, <laughs> it's kind of nice. All right, here we go. We're going to get started with this one. And this particular razor, I've shaved with one similar to this one that's in the other case that I've got, but I have, have not shaved with this particular one. So we're going to give it a try. It's in really good shape. Got this really inexpensive. Didn't cost me much at all. If I remember right, it was just ten dollars. And with a pow blue carbon, uh, seems like I always get good feedback. I mean, you can hear it echoing in my ear. Some of you might remember uh, a couple of videos back I shaved with the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Alpha Elliptic and how that head was made where if you keep the head positioned on your face it's a slant double edge. Uh, in other words, you the angle set. This one here you'll have to figure out what the angle is. Guess you might say there's a um, there's a plus for that uh, alpha elliptic for somebody just starting out because uh, once you figure out how to keep that on your face consistently throughout your shape, should get a good shave every time. This one here the same way. Once you figure out how to how to work the angle and keep it at the angle consistent throughout your shave. Provide you like the feel of the blade. Because this blade is thicker than a DE blade and it has a different feel to it. Sounds really cool, that feedback. But I'm telling you though, it is a different feel with this kind of blade. When I first started shaving with these, I wasn't too sure what I was going to think about this kind of blade. And it took me a little while, but I I got used to it. It's just different. It's not, how can you say, it wasn't uncomfortable or off-putting or anything like that. It was just different. 
face it when you shave with the shave head, <laughs> that feel is different. Checking out, see how things are going. Also, um, if you haven't had the chance to check out one of Donald's uh, videos, you probably ought to at least check it out one time. Watch it all the way through. Uh, Donald, he's, by the way, a wet the face, and he does uh, reviews with uh, various different kinds of soaps and whatnot. And uh, his, uh, for one, I think, you know, I would call him one of the masters of bowl lathering. You watch how he uses that bowl, shows you the Captain's Choice bowl. This is how much soap I've got in there. Puts it right in there, whips it up. I mean, just all kinds of crazy lather when he's done. And if you watch how... Uh, he shaves. I will call it a one lather pass. And how he gets by with that is that he, I feel he didn't. I, I haven't seen the video just yet where he has come out and said this, but the way I interpret how he does a, a one la, one lather pass shave is that he is uh, he has learned the pattern growth pattern on his face, and so he uh, my alarm. He, um, he does one, you know, lathers one time and shaves. That's it. Just one time. But you'll notice that he doesn't always go straight down. He doesn't always go straight across. I mean, through the whole one, one lather, he's going every which direction. So, in other words, he's figured out how to catch all of that in one lather. So, uh, for those that are trying to uh, learn how like to do a five-minute shave, might want to watch him and see how he does his. I bet you it'll be a, very helpful. I like watching him. I mean, he's it, to me, in my opinion, he's you know, it's like the master. I mean, anybody that can do that and catch all the growth and every which way he's going, he does it all in one pass, one lather. He has a Facebook group, a Google Plus group. He's got a blog. I think he's got Pinterest and Tumblr also, as well as YouTube. If you find his uh, Google Plus store, uh, it's matter of fact on Google Plus. There, you know, look over on the right hand side or left hand side. I'm sorry, <laughs> I know you can't see me pointing, but he. Uh, uh, he has an online store, a flea market, as well as a store where he sells uh, wet the face products. And of course, it's shortened up for WTF. I like watching his videos. He's just he's just amazing, in my opinion. <clears throat> Learn a lot from him. He definitely likes the idea or supports the idea of doing what works for you and enjoy your shave. That's always fun. Shaving should, if you're going to be doing this, you know, you should make it interesting. Smooth as you can make it, especially if you feel like it's a chore. Some of these razors I've used here recently, uh, the uh, uh, Focus Dynamic, a single edge razor with the pivoting head. That one there, yeah, once you, for somebody that's moving from a cartridge, uh, I don't think would have too much trouble adjusting to that razor. Uh, that alpha elliptic, like I said, once you figure out, learn how to keep that, the head consistent all the way across there, it sets the angle for you. And you're talking about a very uh, efficient shaver. It, I was pretty smooth when I got done shaving with it. In other words, there's some relatively, <clears throat> excuse me, 
easy razors to start out with coming from a cartridge or electric razor where you don't have to, in case you might say, learn the angle because the angle's already preset for you. Hey, <laughs> that makes for an easy shave. Matter of fact, if you're looking for a five minute shave, that might be one of the razors to grab if you got one. Because I know that uh, Focus Dynamic, I worked hard just to see, for one, if I could get a BBS shave, and two, how much irritation I would get trying to get it. And, uh, for me, and, and you know, I haven't been shaving that long, wet shaving. I started in 2015, ordered my first uh, first razor, if I remember right, it was at the end of March of 2015. I mean, at the very end of March. So, in other words, I haven't been wet shaving that long. In other words, to develop, um, I've learned a lot in the way of technique, but that razor... That focus dynamic for me was just really easy to use. The Alpha Elliptic comes with instructions. Take a moment. Look at the instructions. Look at Douglas's website. Look down through there and read it. Hey, I'm telling you, it, for me, it just was not that hard to get used to, and you get a very close, efficient shave. say if you hadn't seen it it's also a big light razor it comes in I think aluminum steel in other words there's more than one model he also has a slant bake light and uh, that razor there also very efficient when I first put the blade in there, I undid it. In other words, I take I took it apart, put it back together, because that blade sticking out there like it was. I thought, how does anybody shave with this? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of blade exposure there, but you'd be surprised. It's not it's not as ugly as it looks. In other words, when it comes to the shave, I just knew I was going to be bleeding everywhere. That's one thing about this razor. You can catch quite a bit of lather without having to stop. I have found at least two websites there's more but these two particular websites um, guess you might say might somewhat cater to where you live <clears throat> in other words I don't know if trialblade.com will uh, ship internationally or not I, I couldn't tell you I'm not real sure but I'm fairly certain for the most part um, trying to remember because the naming of this uh, website is very particular razor blades in other words plural for blades uh, club.com razorblades.com I think there's two websites that are very close in the naming convention but I think it's the plural one that you want and um, I have ordered some blades from them and if you order like a, a hunter pack um, the shipping is free as well as you can order individual blades and uh, that might be one route to go when it comes to uh, checking out some uh, razor blades if you're unsure what you want to use and I know at tryablade.com that's where I got those uh, carbon blue PAL razor blades and there's there's other places if you hunt long enough but if you're having a hard time finding uh, those kind of blades tryablade.com if I remember correctly, has it? I don't think. I don't think uh, Razorblades uh, Club.com. 
I don't think they have uh, those blades, but they do have like a uh, feather as well as uh, some Kai blades. If you're hunting for just trying out one pack of Kai blades, it'll bledge. And it was uh, <laughs> how I discovered this is uh, one of the Facebook groups uh, that I'm a part of uh, had posted uh, a link to it because they were asking about gentleman was asking about, hey, have you ever heard of these blades? And I had never heard of them. I hadn't seen them before. And decided to go ahead and order some to give them a try because they're uh, made by Derby. I think the name of the blade is Lion. And thought, I, I'll give them a try. You know, I know when I first started out, I used quite a Derby blades, and I still have some that I use with some razors because that blade works well. A Derby blade works well with that razor. And, uh, in other words, you got to find the combination that works best for you. Some people really enjoy them, love them, and then some people can't hardly use them. And I understand, because Bit Chromium, I had three boxes. I use a blade out of each block, box, and, uh, I can't use them. For me... My experience was they're the worst blade I've ever used. <laughs> they were just not for me. And you're going to find blades like that that just don't work for you. So I understand you, in other words, if you don't like Derby blades, but Derby makes more than, I guess you might say, than one kind of razor. Razor blade, that is. Like this travel case. Makes it easier for me to pack things back up and put them over in my cabinet over here. Got some Humphreys here. I like this. The scent, it's there for a moment when I first put it on. Shortly thereafter, I don't notice the scent, but it's pleasant. It's nice when you first put it on to, to have that scent, if you're looking for one that's scented. Humphreys has one that is not scented also, so. In other words, it shouldn't be that difficult. Find one that's not scented if you're not a a fan of scented wench hazels. This is the only scented one that I have. I guess you might say the rest of them are plain, I guess, unscented. I do have uh, Thayer's with uh, aloe. And uh, when it gets closer to the winter months, I'll start using it again. To help keep my face moisturized. I don't have a problem during the summer for some reason. It's the winter where I have an issue with it. Then you lay down under. I haven't had, and I've got several of her aftershaves, and I haven't had one that just irritated my skin to the point where I couldn't use it. Um, if you have ever used a uh, fine snake bite, uh, I can understand maybe having a little bit of an issue with the menthol or whatever, but I've only had one that just, how you say, just a an ever so light, I guess you might call it a tingling or whatever on the face, but it didn't stay red for, for just a quick moment and uh, went away rather quick. So it, I've, that part doesn't bother me. It's when it's, you know, for an extended period of time is when I uh, get a little concerned about it. This, uh, I think I, if I didn't mention in the beginning, this does have a uh, smoky scent to it, a slight one. But uh, believe it or not, my nose picks up the bergamot and uh, I think vetiver that's in there that my nose is picking up, which is kind of odd because if it's very many, um, if it gets very uh, complex, my nose, it just tells me you like it or you don't like it, and I can't pick up anything else in between. Going to have fun today. Everybody stay safe if you're running out and about, going to football games, college. Should be starting up here pretty soon. I know pro pre, pre season started. I think I got a pretty good shave. Oh, and before I forget, yes, I'm still working on, uh, you can't hardly tell probably right there, but I'm getting very close to the bottom of uh, my uh, beard butter here. I'm going to try to use the rest of this container up before I switch because it is, uh, oh, this is the spirited blend also. There's just not much left in there. I'm going to put this on my beard here off camera. Everybody, stay safe and smooth shaves to you.